The end of Donald Trump's criminal hush money trial is now in sight. Testimony wrapped up yesterday. After the defense called just two witnesses to the stand, the former president not among them, the jury sent home until next Tuesday when closing arguments are expected to begin. NBC's senior legal correspondent Laura Jarrett has been in the courtroom and was there again yesterday. And an important, a little bit nerdy and wonky, but an yes. important moment as the lawyers and the judge yesterday started hammering out the jury instructions, the instructions on the law that will kind of give a roadmap to the jury on how to decide the case. Yeah, you shouldn't need to go to law school in order to decide this case. And so the instructions are supposed to take what's really complicated and make it really simple. But these instructions are going to be a doozy, even for the most seasoned lawyer, these are really messy. And what the judge did yesterday is hand the prosecution some real victories on those instructions. Well, let's talk about that, because the thing about this case has always been business records falsification. Yeah. It is a misdemeanor. It only gets to be a felony if it's done in furtherance of some other crime. The judge is now saying what that other crime is, but it's it's very interesting, the ruling. Can you explain why this was so favorable to prosecutors? We have never really heard any specific articulation of what that second crime is. And the prosecutors have said, well, we don't really need to. Well, now they're going to have to spell it out a little bit. But the judge made it clear when they're describing that second crime. Say it's an election-related crime, and that's one of the things that they floated out there. Even if it's an election-related crime, you needed to have some unlawful means for the way you carried out that election crime. The judge yesterday saying the jury doesn't have to be unanimous when it comes to what they think that unlawful means. That's a huge moment because usually the jury has to be all 12 in agreement. If the jury doesn't have to be unanimous, you could have 12 different theories of what the unlawful means was. So that's why it's a real victory for the prosecutor. And the other victory for the prosecution had to do with what Donald Trump's lawyers can argue about the advice of legal counsel. Donald Trump is, can't exactly say, well, I just listened to my lawyer, Michael Cohen. His, his argument all along has been, Cohen was my lawyer, and so we put it down as legal expenses. How could that be a crime? Their first argument is there was no falsification. There was no fraud here. But the judge saying he doesn't get to actually make a formal argument. Now, he can say he understood he was his attorney, but he's not going to actually get to argue advice of counsel. And that, so that's taken another, uh, basically another bullet that they had in their arsenal away from them. A lot of lawyers think the jury instructions may be the ball game, may be the make or break, and, yeah. and it went the prosecutor's way, and it was not lost on Donald Trump, who lashed out at the judge again on the courthouse steps. Yes, he has taken multiple, multiple swipes at this judge throughout the trial, but what he did yesterday was a little bit different. Take a look at this. The judge hates Donald Trump. Just take a look. Take a look at him. Take a look at where he comes from. Take a look at where he comes from. Okay, so he was born in Colombia, but he has been here since he was six. He is, all, for all purposes, a New York resident through and through, much like the judge that's hearing his case in Florida. Also born in Colombia, he has not lashed out at her. She was appointed by Donald Trump. She's hearing the classified documents case. And so it might be the, the case that he has now alienated both of these judges. Obviously, she's had a number of favorable rulings in front of him, but this is, is not the argument that you want to be doing when these two judges are hearing such important cases. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.